Fern Britton has candidly opened up about her journey to have children, admitting her last chance came when she met ex-husband Phil Vickery. The former This Morning star shared her experiences of having IVF as well as falling pregnant at 43 in a chat with Kate Thornton. In the latest episode of White Wine Question Time, Fern chatted to her pal about having children. She opened up about her IVF experience when she was married to her first husband Clive Jones. The couple wed in 1988 and were together until 1998. During this time, the presenter gave birth to twin boys, Jack and Harry, as well as daughter Grace. Her twins were conceived through IVF as she shared how expensive and tough the process was to Kate. She said, anyone who has been through IVF knows about those drugs and the enormity of building your hopes and dashing them, it's extreme. When her boys were three years old, Fern discovered she was pregnant again with a miracle baby, Grace. Fern then added, then unfortunately my marriage broke up when she was five months, old. So that was a tricky one so I had a year of really digging deep, but then a year later I met Phil. We were married after a year so that was two years since Gracie was born. And then the last chance saloon, I always say it's late night shopping just before the doors close, when he arrived. So that was exciting and then we had Winnie. Dot Fern met Phil when they appeared on the BBC show Ready Steady Cook. They married in 2000 before their daughter Winnie was born in 2001. However, they both announced their marriage was ending in a statement on Twitter in January 2020. Fern wrote on her Twitter page at the time, after more than 20 happy years together, Phil and I have decided to go our separate ways. We will always share a great friendship and our lovely children. We would appreciate it if our privacy is respected at this time. Thank you for your continued kindness and support. Sick, in an interview with Good Housekeeping last year, Fern opened up about having a very hard past few years. She said in July 2021, I'm not afraid of change. The last three years have been very hard. I lost my parents, I lost my marriage. I lost my other home in Buckinghamshire, too, because Phil lives there now and I'm in Cornwall.